the spike protein is proven in 3,400 peer-reviewed manuscripts to cause four major domains of disease. One is cardiovascular disease, heart inflammation, or myocarditis. Every regulatory agency agrees the vaccines cause myocarditis. I'm a cardiologist. Before COVID, for years, we've had guidelines in cardiology. When there is myocarditis, whether it's symptomatic or not, people cannot exert themselves in athletics. It will cause a cardiac arrest. And yet across Europe and across the United States, sports leagues were injecting young people who had no medical necessity, no clinical indication with these vaccines. And we have seen a montage of cardiac arrests in young individuals. I'm telling you as an expert cardiologist, these cardiac arrests are due to the COVID-19 vaccine until proven otherwise. They are. Other cardiovascular diseases caused by the vaccine proven. Acceleration of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and heart attacks or cardiovascular arrest. Posterior orthostatic tachycardia sonora POTS or people passing out due to low blood pressure. You have seen montages of people in the media, one after another passing out like you've never seen before. It is the vaccine until proven otherwise. Aortic dissection, atrial fibrillation, other arrhythmias. Cardiac arrest in the absence of myocarditis has been described with the COVID-19 vaccines. The cardiovascular domain of damage in the human body from the vaccine is substantial, more than anything we've ever seen with cholesterol, high blood pressure, or diabetes. The second major domain is neurologic disease, stroke, both ischemic and hemorrhagic, Guillain-Barre syndrome, ascending paralysis that can lead to death, which it has led to death with messenger RNA vaccines. Uh, agreed to by our, all of our regulatory agencies, small fiber neuropathy, numbness and tingling, ringing in the ears, headaches. These are common. Third major domain, blood clots. Blood clots like we've never seen before. The spike protein is the most thrombogenic protein we've ever seen in human medicine. It's found in the blood clots. The spike protein causes blood clots. Blood clots larger and more resistant to blood thinners than we've ever experienced in human medicine. I have patients with blood clots now going on two years and they are not dissolving with conventional blood thinners due to these vaccines. We can't get these out of the body. We can't get the messenger RNA or the spike protein out of the body as is continually produced. Fourth and last domain, immunologic abnormalities. Vaccine-induced thrombotic thrombocytopenia and multi-system inflammatory disorder are early acute syndromes, uh, well-described, published. They have their own acronyms, all agreed to by the regulatory agencies. So all of you in the room and all of you listening online are asking, is it me? Is it my family member? Is it my loved one? Who is going to be the next person to drop after a vaccine? We've seen cardiac arrest now two years after these shots.